Hello, hope you're well. My name is Frank. Welcome back to my channel. It is a pleasure to have you here with me today. And I'm going to give you guys a little tour around my kitchen, pantry, starting with the meal I'm actually eating now. This is going to give you guys an idea of every single thing I'm eating. And if you guys want to count how many actual foods I'm eating, let me know in the comments. I bet it's less than what vegans put in their morning smoothies. So I just finished cooking my second meal. This is actually about half a pound of 93.7 ground beef that I made earlier. The only part of the meal that I didn't cook. Uh, we actually have this on Frankie's free range meat. I sauteed some artichokes and some cauliflower, two foods you guys haven't seen me eat yet in a day of eating. And the main reason I'm eating these is for the fiber content and because they're Italian. You know, I've noticed that when I eat foods that are consistent with my ancestry, for the most part, I feel pretty good. Contrary to that, I have my chocolate chip cookie batter. And the cookies just finished in the oven. And we also have some brown rice in the Instant Pot here that just finished cooking. I didn't, uh, I didn't steam it that out yet, but I'll show you guys the rice I used downstairs. So it, it's a pretty nice meal. You know, I have the protein, the ground beef some cauliflower and artichokes for the vegetables, fiber, gut motility, and then I have brown rice for starch for carbohydrate energy to wash it all down and for gut health. And this is also a raw food. This is the water kefir I'm making. I have lemon, lime, and ginger in there for flavor. I have to actually get another one of these just to ferment enough, but uh, this is pretty hard to keep track of. I'll show you guys what I put in that. So there's some ginger back here. This is organic cane sugar. And I also have some Molasses here. This is for extra minerals that the kefir grains need maybe once every two weeks And some other stuff here. I'll show you guys that I have it in the pantry So this corner of the dining room is my pantry Unfortunately, there's no room in the cabinets because my parents put all their stuff in there and they stock up like it's the apocalypse uh, So that's just the regular all-purpose flour that I put in my cookies It has hard red winter wheat, which is the standard wheat used in flour and a little bit of malted barley I think to you know, keep it dry and keep the consistency. Back there are some of the chocolate chips I use in the cookies. Uh, I have the, the generic Whole Foods brand, which I don't like. Everything's organic, of course. The brand that I do like, Guitard, it's pretty tasty. And these are some white chocolate chips that I just bought to try out. Uh, these don't taste that good. The reason I got these is because you guys inform me that white chocolate doesn't have caffeine, but you know, they're not enjoyable and they kind of ruin the cookies for me. Here we just have uh, some beans, cannellini beans. I honestly haven't really been eating these at all. I had them maybe one day and wasn't much of a fan, so they're just sitting here. Uh, staying on track with the cookies though, I have organic light coconut milk, uh, which I use as the liquid base in there. The coconut oil is the oil base. You know, usually people use butter. And here we have more of the cane sugar, which is what I'm using in the cookies, as well as the water kefir. And I usually bring home some nature's glucose from Frankie's free range meat uh, just to lower the amount of fructose in the cookies and make it a little bit healthier. Not necessarily healthier, I guess just take some of the fructose load off of the liver. Uh, the beef broth is what I was using to make my stew, which I actually just stopped doing last week. Uh, but you know, I would go through like six, seven or eight of these a week. And I just kind of lazy to make my own broth. This is just some sushi rice I never really had. Uh, this is the barley that I was using in the stew. And here are two things you guys also haven't seen. So this is an organic hazelnut spread with cocoa. It's basically Nutella with cocoa added to it, but it's organic. And I put this in the cookie sometimes. It's enjoyable. It is a bit high omega-6, so maybe I've had this like a couple times over the past two months. Uh, I don't put it in every batch of cookies, but it is tasty. And these are just artichoke hearts. I haven't been able to find organic artichokes, so I don't really think I'm going to keep them in my diet. I'm just uh, trying them for a couple of days to see if they make my digestion better or worse. So that's really everything over here. It's, it's mostly cookie ingredients and a couple things that I have for carbohydrates. So if you guys take a look back at what I had on my counter, these are just the things that were in the pantry. You know, the coconut milk, the hazelnut spread, the molasses, you know, there's even a cup of barley here. Sometimes for a cheat meal, I actually have burgers. I'll make the 93.7 ground beef, and these actually taste pretty good, although I've made fun of Dave's killer bread in the past. Uh, they do have 
one of the only organic burger buns available in the store. And if you get these fresh, they actually taste pretty good. I also taste some onions uh, to put on top of that with the, the ground beef patty. And you guys will see what I have with that cheat meal down in the freezer. So nothing in this fridge is really mine. Uh, I do have some mushrooms that I sauteed up here. I was planning on making a stew and I didn't want them to go bad. Uh, these are some of the extra chocolate best bars that my sister has as a snack. Uh, this is just some 93.7 ground beef from Frankie's Free Range Meat. Some of the cheese, Parmesan and cheddar that I've been using in some recipe videos. But the rest of this is just my parents' stuff. On occasion, I will use this, but you guys don't really see it. Maybe once in a blue moon, organic mustard. Uh, we have some coconut aminos. And sometimes I'll have some red wine here as well. So hopefully sometime in the near future, I can just move all of this stuff down to the warehouse because I hate having this stuff in, in the garage here. It's a nightmare, but I usually need to access it every day. Food wise, this is the bag of brown rice. You guys saw this in the previous day of eating, Lundberg Family Farms, organic sprouted brown rice. I think it was only like a dollar, a dollar fifty a pound for this giant bag. And here I just have some more onions and some organic limes. I had some lemons, but they went bad. And my fridge is actually pretty empty. I just cleaned out the stuff I wasn't using. So this is going to be my meat for this week. This is the petite tender roast, probably the most underrated cut of steak ever. Uh, you know, I'm selling, I think, three pounds of this for $27.50. And this is basically as tender as filet mignon. It's delicious. I should be charging, you know, two or three times more for this stuff. And that's what you have to pay elsewhere. It's just not a popular cut, so people don't buy it. Usually, uh, we'll portion this smaller on Frankie's Strange Meat. But the, these came really nice and packed, and they're organic. Uh, so instead of, you know, selling them at such a low price, I'll eat it myself. I do have some venison, uh, the last of the venison, actually. Uh, that we had on Frankie syringe meat. I don't really like this stuff on its own. Uh, if it's in the stew with the beef broth and the red wine, it's okay. And here I actually just had uh, some of the organic chicken breast that we're now carrying on Frankie syringe meat. I was craving chicken and rice like one day the other month and I had it for two days straight. And these are just some caviar samples that have been sitting in my fridge for uh, two months. I don't know, maybe the fermented caviar can be a specialty. I never tried them. Oh, and here we have the uh, the fish sauce, the colatura, this is available as well. I think we're going to discontinue this because I have to ship them separately because when they freeze, they explode, but whatever. Now into the freezer. So all my stuff is in the top here. Uh, some organic pineapple chunks that, honestly, I haven't had a smoothie in a while besides uh, that last week with the glandulars. I just purchased these. These are also two new purchases. Organic cauliflower florets frozen and organic... Oh, these aren't organic, but artichoke hearts frozen. Just going to see how they taste. This is my testosterone testicle collection. If I ever feel low energy, pop some of these out, thaw them out. Testosterone right there. And just a couple bags of different types of organic fries from Whole Foods. Uh, the crinkle cut, I don't really like that much. Uh, the steak cut down there, I haven't tried yet. The shoestring are pretty good. My favorite have been the tater tots, but uh, you know there are some additives in these that make them not so healthy. Usually a small amount of seed oils, apple juice concentrate. Definitely okay for kids, but not ideal. Now, a couple months ago, I would have said, hey, just make your own french fries. They taste better. And that's what I was doing with the organic russet potatoes. I actually did a whole french fry recipe video for you guys if we want to check that out. They're healthier for you. They taste better no additives, but I tried the tater tots that Whole Foods had frozen organic. I, I really like those. They were crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside, but again, only something I have like once or twice a month. You know, as much as I would like to just throw a book together and release it, you know, it only took me maybe two weeks to write my first book. Uh, the thing is, that was after, you know, seven, eight years of following the carnivore diet. And I was actually on the diet for three years before I even started my YouTube channel, closer to four years. Uh, so, you know, I think I'm going to be following this diet for at least another year and a half, two years before I do release my next book on it. I don't think anyone that releases a book in, in shorter time span than that 
No. I mean, yeah, it's one thing if you followed a diet for 10 years and then wrote a book in two weeks. Like, that's one thing because you've accumulated all this information. But, you know, I'm not just going to, you know, I think maybe, what have we been on this new diet now for six, seven months? So not too long. And I definitely want to give it at least, you know, two years, preferably three years. And I definitely need some time to work on the book. Hopefully, you know, my schedule gets less stressful because the last thing I want to do when I get home at night, you know, two, three, four in the morning is, is do research and write things down for the book. I just need to relax and try to be a little happy. So uh, thank you guys for joining me. Again, let me know in the comments. Did any of you guys count how many foods I'm eating? If I had to guess, it's between 15 and 20. It could be a little bit more. Maybe actually less. I don't know. Uh, so please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Uh, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And make sure to click that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. You can check out Frankie's FreeRangeMeat.com for the petite tender steaks. Uh, we have a bunch of things available on Frankie's Free Range Foods uh, from those best bars to the water kefir, the honey glucose. And uh, we might have a couple new products coming out over the next week or two, guys. So definitely stay in touch. Definitely stay updated. And if you want to check out any of my other companies like Organ Supplements, Frankie's Naturals, you can go to frank-stefano.com.